What's going on guys? So today, October 16th, DICE dropped its largest information in regards to turning tides with a tweet giving us a load of information on the new DLC coming out in December. As well, they gave us a live stream on their Twitch channel, which gave us many more insights in regards to this new update. I will be condensing it all into one video, so hang on and hold on here. Uh, this is going to be a wealth of information, as this is the pinnacle of the Turning Tides information that we'll be seeing. And from here on out, we'll be seeing more of polished um, news and um, updates in regards to various sources. Um, in regards to this main piece of the update that they gave out today Now before I go on any further I want to preference that all the images and things we will be seeing will be uh, Very the rough draft version of it all of this is still in a testing process It's being involved with what's called the CTE if you're unfamiliar with it, it's a community test environment uh, So this is not the finished retail version of the game of course uh, but this is the very source of what the new Turning Tides will be like. And like I said previously, everything else from here will be very polished up. Um, nothing essentially changed of the update, but of course the very aesthetics of it and mechanics of it will be modified as this progress into December. Um, they did use a term here, uh, what's called a white box environment, which I'll let them describe what that is really. So basically uh, what's on the CTE right now is essentially the all the assets, all the key terrain, um, the, the layout, uh, but without any texture, without any um, serious lighting or anything like that. So that's in their own words right there. And uh, there's going to be a certain different approach you're going to be taking to the Battlefield 1 uh, testing environment, this white box environment. I wanted, of course, preference that before it showed any of the videos and certain things of that nature so we all understood. Uh, that, again, of course, is just a testing environment and this is nowhere close to the retail version of the game. Which they did mention that they have been working on and uh, some of it that's been polished up already. They're very excited to start bringing out to us as soon as they can, of course, coming up here in December. Uh, what we're looking at here is the Battle of Gallipoli. This specifically being Cape Hellas, uh, the map where you'll be essentially kind of storming the beaches, kind of in a sense like in you have World War II Normandy, as you can see the ships and, and certain boats out over there uh, that will be pushing up, up onto this uh, little hill here as you make your way upward. So this is uh, one of the new maps that is coming and turning the tides. We do have some new concept art uh, that had came out before with this map, which DICE had tweeted about. But as well, we have some new uh, concept art that came out in this post today. So here's a look at the new art that they had just released. Under it, they had written, Storm the beaches of the Gallipoli Peninsula with the British forces or defend the Ottoman Empire's fortifications. Master the land, air, and sea interplay to win the defining battles. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, that gives us a little bit more of a feel of what we're going to be looking at. Um, instead of the kind of the bare bones of the CTE that I just showed you there um, a few seconds ago in the last video. So again, this gives us a little bit more of an idea in the weeks to come of where they're going to be taking this map that we had just looked at. This, of course, does bring up some of the new vehicles that will be coming up in Turning Tides. This being, of course, a new airship that we're looking at right here. Uh, they went on to go on to say, Spawn on the new C-Class airship and deliver death from above. This nimble airship has room for a pilot with three gunners and will be a frightening sight on the battlefield. Uh, so look at this kind of like a smaller version of the Zeppelin. The Zeppelin, of course, has like four gondolas hanging underneath it uh, with gunners on top of the actual Zeppelin itself. While in this case here, we only have one gondola and uh, it can only be fitted with four people. One of them has to be the pilot and other three can shoot. So um, don't expect it to have the exact same effect as a Zeppelin, but it is a vehicle. So we won't have to wait um, in certain situations if the score is unbalanced for you to get a behemoth to row out. This will come up um, in your actual loadout screen. And so just like how you would load into a plane or a tank, this option will show up as well. So this will be definitely interesting. I'm looking forward to trying out this new airship and seeing how it takes part in, in the new update of Turning Tides. Here is now a look at the second map that's going to be coming out on the CTE. Um, one a part of the um, Gallipoli um, um, uh, battle that we're going to be playing out here in Turning Tides. So this map here is Akibaba and uh, this is uh, definitely going to be more of just an infantry battle. There's going to be no vehicles on this at all, uh, no airships, no tanks, 
Um, as far as I'm concerned, they wouldn't even let him put a motorcycle on the map. So it's very much uh, just pure infantry. Uh, so that's definitely cool to have that, a little bit of feel of that, as much as uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, planes and, and a lot of, uh, of uh, boats when it comes involved with this update. So um, not much have I heard of anything of tanks so far. So it seems like uh, we're moving really far away from much of tank gameplay. It's given us more of an understanding, more of appreciation, I guess, to the very early vanilla maps if you're much of a tank player of how much they really were that were the maps that very much were centralized around tanks uh, now we've moved away from a lot of that and uh, but they're still giving a bit of regard uh, towards people who play infantry and so if you like playing infantry and mainly infantry maps this is going to be the map for you and they did give out some art um, new art in regards to this new map um, so we get a little bit more feel of again what they're trying to do and in regards to the kind of the bare bones that we just saw there again uh, with that new map as well. Um, this again is kind of the battle will be more again only on land and it's going to have more just infantry battles going on here. Um, the idea is more that they're trying the British are trying to move up um, into the position where the Ottomans are holding up on the high ground up there. Uh, so yeah, this kind of gives you the kind of the background of what's been going on as well as if you look at the individual that's between the two um, uh, Men in the very front right there. You'll see one right in the middle who's a little bit up ahead if you look closely at his hat You'll begin to recognize that attire and uh, they are giving a nod to the Anzacs in regards um, to having some of the troops um, wear that type of apparel so it will be a little bit of a nod for them of course it's going to be focused on uh, the Royal Marines they have said uh, but they do have some of this uh, of, of attire that will be uh, be able to be playable and you'll see your soldier wearing this so definitely a nod to them and a nod to the people who were looking to see this in Battlefield 1 now DICE does have two more maps that they don't have on the CTE right now that they have released and talked about um, in this major uh, big release on what's coming out in Turning Tides. Uh, the image you're looking at here is uh, a part of Helgelon Bight, uh, which is a great war at sea engaged in an epic naval clash as the British Empire Royal Marines and German Navy pit dreadnoughts, destroyers, and aircraft against each other while infantry troops fight by the iconic red cliffs of Rocky Cove. Um, so what we're looking at here in this image is some more probably of the pinnacle of this type of um, um, naval battles that will be going on here. Um, you're going to see again some of the dreadnought, um, some more fighter uh, planes. But what we're looking at there um, on the bottom left is another ship, um, a brand new ship that's going to be coming out here uh, for us. This is some older um, our image that was released to us a while ago kind of teasing the new concepts that would be coming out um, But now we have definitely um, some clear information of what this ship is that you're looking now off there to the right This is the new destroyer rule the waves with the all-new L cast L class destroyer jump into one of the four seats and deliver mayhem to sea air and ground units using cannons torpedoes AA guns and mines so just kind of like how they were doing it with the new airship, kind of the smaller version of the Zeppelin. I kind of see this new L-Class Destroyer being kind of a smaller version of the Dreadnought. Um, so again, these won't be, uh, you know, ships and, you know, air vehicles that you can know any access uh, when your team's behind by a larger margin. Uh, but now will be accept, a, a, accessible at the very beginning of your loadout screen where you can access them just like you would access on any tank or any other vehicle like a plane. These will be there just as much. So uh, expect them to have a little bit more of play than we've experienced before uh, with other um, um, naval ships that were out there on other maps that uh, you would you know only use you know very slightly um, and their main purpose was just to get you to, to on land quicker um, now we're gonna see more of an emphasis more of a play on this and this is the ship uh, that's gonna give us it the most so I did like how it said there we will be seeing mines on there so uh, we have seen kind of the cannons uh, our uh, on torpedoes and the AA guns but not something like mines on the ship here so this is definitely gonna be pretty cool to see this uh, we know this variant is in uh, certain things like tanks, uh, but mines very much play a role in uh, sea battles as well. So definitely will be cool to experience that and see how that works. 
Now, if you're an infantry player, you might be wondering, where exactly do I fit in all this? The last uh, two images you've seen of this uh, map have been primarily uh, naval battles. But uh, if you actually go look in the very back there, you're going to see a cliff in the back. And if you keep reading the description of this battle, it says, Infantry troops fight by the iconic red cliffs of Rocky Cove. So actually what you're looking back there is an actual island in itself and that's where actually there will be infantry battles. Now of course it hasn't been released on the CTE yet so we don't actually have an actual idea of what it's going to look like in Battlefield 1. So I had to go ahead and kind of look at the internet and kind of find out a little bit more about this actual site itself and you know what do you know the island's still there there today and um, back in the day of World War 1 it was actually a uh, naval base for the German Empire. So that's definitely pretty cool. Definitely gives a little more of a context of what uh, the actual history is behind why the British would want to attack this and why there's such a significant battle there and why this would make it to Battlefield 1. So, uh, yeah, don't feel left out if you're an infantry player. They're still kind of trying to keep that balance between the, the land, air, and sea, and you're kind of seeing it again here um, in this battle that will be coming up here in Turning Tides. Now, finally, the last of the maps that were shown um, in regards to the concept art and uh, part of the two maps that weren't shown in the CTE is another map that we have been teased before in previous t tweets from DICE. This, of course, is the Zeebrug map. And uh, it would go on to say, Take part of the daring British raid on the Belgian port of Bruges, Zeebrug, with the rough waves and a vast German Mollus backdrop. Fight at sea, in the air, and in close quarters infantry environment. So, uh... Definitely uh, looks like a very cool map again some new concept art in regards to this one that we've been kind of teased before um, You can see the uh, The British uh, rolling off of their ship and going on to actually port itself I guess the backdrop of this is the British are trying to uh, Clog the port up with sinking their ships in the port uh, that would cause some of the u-boats from the German uh, Side to not be able to leave the port. So uh, that's kind of the backdrop of this Again, they're keeping that same thing of the land, air, and uh, sea balance going on here. Um, but mainly in this picture, we're seeing more of an emphasis on the port itself. So uh, definitely excited. Definitely look, looking forward to playing this one. I guess the only downside I could say uh, so far of what I've heard of Turning Tides is unfortunately these uh, last two maps I've spoken of uh, won't be coming out. Um, until January so uh, we were looking forward to turning tides coming out in December which it is and everything I'll talk about in this video um, it, everything else will be coming out in December but these two maps along with um, the um, new British um, Empire Royal Marines which is the troops that they're going to be focusing on that specifically are tied into these last two maps uh, those three things right there won't be coming out until January of 2018 so a little bit disappointed on that uh, that I gotta wait another month and it's not really gonna be all tied in together um, but uh, basically all from that and kind of the lack of a behemoth um, overall I'm looking forward again to what's gonna be coming out but just a heads up for everyone else that uh, these last two maps along with the British Empire uh, the Royal Marines uh, won't be coming out until January of 2018 we will be getting six new weapons along with two new melee weapons in the update. This being the one new support class weapon, the Browning M1917 machine gun with a bipod and all. That will probably need to be used to be posted up to avoid some of the uh, probably extreme recoil that's going to come with this weapon if used with hip firing. The assault class will be getting two weapons. Uh, this one being the M1912 P16 machine pistol. That has a high fire rate but a slow reload time as well as the m1917 uh, trench carbine uh, which kind of gives that same kind of look as what we see with the uh, tanker and pilot's weapon but with a larger magazine the medic class will be getting one rifle which is a farquhar hill um, semi-automatic rifle that will have a 20 round drum magazine attached to it now the scout class will be getting two weapons and uh the one that you're looking at right now will be the Japan Type 38 Arasaka. Um, that will be one rifle you'll be able to use as well as the next rifle that will show up here is the uh, Italian Carcona M91 Carbon. Uh, so the scout classes will be getting two uh, rifles here and uh, we'll see more when it comes out here in the DLC to try these weapons out. Of course, there's still the rough draft and all the balancing factors of it um, are still in consideration as the CT progresses along. Now, unfortunately, 
Uh, they weren't able to show us any of the melee weapons in the stream. I don't think it was even in the CTE build itself. So, uh, But the tweet they did give us about the new update uh, gave us a little bit more information about what these new melee weapons are going to be. One of them being a naval cutlass. So expect um, a sword-like melee object as well as the grappling hook. So if you've been kind of hearing the talk of uh, the last couple of weeks has been about what the new grappling hook would be like and what we're going to be seeing actually is the grappling hook being in play um, as an actual melee weapon. So we knew it was coming in as you're looking at this uh, artwork right here. You can see the grappling hook right there hanging below uh, the person. Uh, but now we're going to see how it's going to be used and it's going to be used as a melee weapon. So definitely be interesting uh, how that's going to work. Now just like there being no gameplay for the two new melee weapons, there was no gameplay as well for the new Elite class that will be coming out. However though, we did get some more information about it in the tweet. We now know the name of it. The Infantry Elite class. Hide in plain sight and move faster across the battlefield with the new Infantry Elite class. This strategic kit allows you to take advantage of a permanent sprint boost while calling in artillery strikes and deploying a mobile spawn for friendly troops. So. A bit more information, um, it's going to have some type of cloaking or camouflage device uh, where it's able to basically, like it says, hide in plain sight, um, as well being able to um, call in artillery strikes, as well as deploying a mobile spawn for friendly troops. That almost makes you think about um, the uh, spawning ability you can kind of use in incursions. If you've seen some incursions uh, alpha gameplay, um, one of the roles of one of the players you're able to uh, um, kind of light like a flare type of thing and uh, allows your players to teammates to spawn onto that place even after you die. So I wonder if that will kind of be implemented in the new Elite class. That's all we have of the Elite class as it is right now. So again, no gameplay, but at least we know the name of it. And uh, there's kind of some stuff surf surfacing around already that I've been kind of looking at, um, kind of leaking out kind of how this person is going to look like in itself. So we'll see how, what's going to be coming up here in the future in regards to that. And finally, wrapping up here, we're going to have a new game mode coming out called Conquest Assault. In the previous updates, DICE has been releasing new game modes such as Frontlines and Supply Drop. And what we're going to be looking at here is a different variation of Conquest. Um, and in this case, it's essentially the same Conquest, but the start's going to be different where the defending team is going to be able to have all the bases capped for them at the very beginning of the game, and the assault team is not going to have any. Um, but uh, the assault team is going to start off with a higher ticker count. So um, essentially, uh, the team, uh, if you don't begin to cap bases uh, quickly, uh, the defending team will eventually start to accumulate ticker points and will surpass the team um, that's already kind of starts in the lead, you could kind of say, in ticker count. So definitely a different start when it comes to conquest. We'll see how this one turns out. Um, we'll see again how it gets tested on the CT. It will be kind of interesting how, how it works. Um, and right now, it's definitely a work in progress. And uh, just giving out the information and when it comes in regards to that. They are going to have new service assignments as well. And of course, with new service assignments come new specializations. Uh, but in this round of specializations, we're seeing a more of a look in uh, tweaking things from medic crates to your AT rocket gun. So keep a lookout on to how those uh, are going to start taking place in, the, in regards to the CTE um, coming out here. Um, and uh, finally, of course, we're going to have uh, new unlocks such as dog tags, service stars, codex entries, medals, and ribbons that we're going to add to your collection as well. Now finally, in regards to the CTE and these two maps being available for the rest of the community, um, as long as you have the Premium Pass or if you have the new Battlefield Revolution, um, you will be able to play this. Um, if you don't have the CTE, I'll link an annotation of how to download that. I will as well link in the annotations of what exactly DICE is looking for from you. Um, they did stress very much that they do need your help. And this very much helps them out a lot when you give them feedback um, off of the maps and the guns and all the gameplay in general. So uh, that whole video I post there gives you detailed step by step how to go about doing that. And so hopefully that helps you out there. One of the div uh, DICE um, uh, people in charge of the CTE actually did tweet out um, the actual time that the CTE is coming up. Which is 19.30 Stockholm time which is 7.30 p.m. Uh, their time. And that's then 10.30 a.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. So that's important because they will be closing the CTE up. Uh, they're trying out things a little bit differently in regards to the CTE. 
um, and people getting in and playing um, at that time. So uh, uh, they did open the servers up for people to download the CTE. There has been some people in the community asking um, if the CTEs have been open for people to download again, and people are downloading it. So in previous CTEs, if you weren't able to um, um, download it before, try it again, and hopefully you're able to get into it. But when it comes to the specific uh, build that they're doing right here for us, um, you will need to access it around that time. And I would recommend checking the actual Reddit Battlefield 1 CTE page that I'll link down below. Um, that will, um, um, again, give you more updated frequent information just in case the time changes for any reason or something like that. So definitely check that page out down below. But it should be 10.30 uh, a.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time from what I'm seeing um, and just a heads up uh, Braddock was making mention uh, multiple times in the stream that there's a possibility that you will be able to download the build sometime this evening October 16th so I'm just kind of throwing that out there that is a possibility um, if you want to get a little bit of a head start you know don't come running after me um, if that doesn't happen he said there's a possibility that that could happen and he made it mentioned multiple times in the stream so I'm just gonna throw that out there for you guys uh, really quick um, hopefully that helps you out but again if it's not there don't come hunting me out if you're up there in the middle of the night trying to download this and it doesn't show up so uh, just trying to give you guys a head start and give you guys all the information there and to let you be able to handle it and deal with it how you uh, how you choose so uh, Wow, this was a really long video. I definitely need to shorten these videos up. If uh, Hopefully you stuck it out. Again, I'll try to give you guys all the information and help you guys down, point you down the right path. So uh, that's it for you guys today. I appreciate you guys being here. I'm living, and I'll catch you guys again later. Peace.